on the front of our smart manufacturing cell, we do have a set of light curtains. But on the right side, we have a gate that we need to interlock. And we're going to use this Fortress safety switch to do it. These are available in a lot of different configurations. In our case, we decided that we wanted a few buttons. We also needed lights, so we made those combinations. And we will have a sensor that will sense whether this is open or closed. And also, it has a solenoid to lock it. That way, when our robot is running, they will not be able to open the side door. When you're considering where to put your handle, try to put it where it's convenient for everyone. Remember, we're not all the same height. Are you calling me short? Uh, I'm calling myself tall. I've got the base unit of it. Notice on the handle, there is quite a bit of movement back and forth, which can be really helpful lineup-wise. And also there is a slot here, but I'm going to try to get this centered as possible before I mark my holes. We're going to show you how to wire this to a banner safety controller. But first, let's talk about how it works, at least from the solenoid perspective. It comes with this cable, and I'm going to go ahead and screw it in. Amber, can you shut the door for us? So when the machine is in operation, we'll energize the solenoid on it, and now try to open it. And so that won't allow it to open. And so we'll have it where if they press the stop button or the cycle's complete, then it'll drop that out and it'll open up. Before we can show you how to wire the safety controller, we do have a few other devices to do. And then we have a panel to build. And here's a playlist so you can follow along.